Hi, and welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. This isn't a cat-related video, I'm just holding her because otherwise she was rubbing on the tripod knocking the camera around. Anyway, today we've got a bit of a combination video. I do have a product review from Elecro, but it's actually something I can use in one of my future projects. So this isn't just some random thing, this is actually a component of a future video, which I hope to be pretty interesting. Fluff seems determined to help with this video, she will just not leave the tripod alone right now. I must have set it in some catnip last time I was outside. Anyway, Elecro sent me an 11 inch touchscreen. Uh, this thing should be pretty cool and hopefully pretty useful for an upcoming project. These guys pack things kind of like I do. They just throw a bunch of bubble wrap around it and toss it in a box, which is just fine. This is plenty of packaging to survive the football team that our postal system is turning into. All right, so we've got the Crow Vision touchscreen display, manual. So we've got a mini HDMI cable, USB, little control module, more cables, and it comes with a little screwdriver, all kinds of good stuff in here. Here's another HDMI cable, power supply, and then the touch screen. Now, Elecro sells products mainly aimed at makers, DIY people, uh, tech people, rapid prototyping, all kinds of basically just electronics for tinkerers, which means that they thoughtfully include all kinds of extra stuff that you might need when you're working with one of their products. Now, it also means the product doesn't come in a slick factory enclosure. It's pretty open here, ready for prototyping, ready for your Raspberry Pi or your other single board computer. In fact, it's got a very flexible mounting system here. The standoff pins come on little rails, so you can move these around and mount all kinds of circuit boards directly on here. You're not just limited to one board pattern for a Raspberry Pi. If you've got some other kind of microcontroller or single board computer or homemade circuit board, you can move these around and mount almost anything you want. And then this little board here has the USB input and output for the touchscreen control, HDMI, it has a mini USB, I assume for power, also has a barrel connector for power, and then it also has uh, little connectors here for speaker. I think this is another speaker headphone jack, and this is a keypad output. So all kinds of interfaces right on the board. This is the little keypad that goes with this connector, and we have a ribbon cable for that. And then this is the front of our touch screen. Doesn't look like much now, but let's hook it up to a Raspberry Pi and see what it does. So I'm reading the little manual here, which is actually very good, and I realize I may have misspoke about a few of those inputs and outputs. The larger USB port on the back is power output, the smaller one is the touch interface, and that barrel connector is the power input. So this can provide power to your Raspberry Pi through the control board of the touch screen. It's pretty straightforward, but it does give you a little connection diagram in case you're not sure where the cables go. Then we've got a page of the technical specifications, and we're using the 11.6 inch model here. So let's go ahead and install a Raspberry Pi. I've got this one that I'm not using at the moment. It was on my auto turret, and it's set up with some software to run stepper motors, which is something I want to do a little bit later in this project. Maybe not in this video, but eventually we're going to be running some steppers with this. I know it's relatively minor, but I really like these sliding screw mounts, and I really like the inclusion of a screwdriver. Elecro just goes a little bit above and beyond to think about their end users and provide thoughtful extras for DIY makers. And sure, I have a ton of screwdrivers already, but this way I don't even have to dig in my toolbox. I just open the package and I'm already putting stuff together. All right, we've got our Pi installed, and it's a little wiggly because of those adjustable connectors, but honestly, I think it's plenty secure in here. I'm actually gonna back up just slightly and pop in some more of these little standoff risers because I'm gonna be putting the stepper motor hat on top of the Pi. We'll go ahead and hook up our cables. Now the touchscreen came with both micro USB and USB-C. However, I'm using an older Raspberry Pi 3 here, so I'm actually gonna need two of these guys, but fortunately I already have a ton of these micro USB connectors around. These cables are getting to be a little bit of a mess, but again, Elecro has been very thoughtful and included a Velcro cable tie so we can organize this a little better. The one complaint I have so far is this little ribbon connector end isn't the easiest to install. It's kind of hard to figure out which direction it goes and then it doesn't seem to very securely seat in there. All right, let's fire this thing up. Now there are control buttons for power, menu, up, down, select on the back of the control board, as well as on this breakout board. So 
Um, we could build this into a panel of some sort. We could put a prettier interface over the top of it, but it also lets us control the screen from the front so we don't have to just flip this over every time we want to turn the power off or mess with the menu. All right, looks like the Raspberry Pi is starting up now. Yeah, seems to do pretty well, tracks my finger. So our little Elecro screen has a pretty standard menu system, kind of the same as any flat screen monitor. You can change the color temperature, image aspect, brightness, contrast. All right, so there we go. This touch screen is very sensitive, very accurate. Uh, works just great as a Raspberry Pi screen. Now, Elecro does offer 3D printer files for cases for this, and they offered to send me some of those. I don't know if any of my 3D printers are quite large enough to handle something like this, unless it comes in multiple pieces, but that's something we could look into. However, the use that I have for this particular touchscreen is a fixed installation on one of my satellite antennas, and I want to save some weight because the entire thing is going to be rotating on some stepper motors, so I don't really need extraneous plastic extra case to stress out those motors. Yeah, multi-touch works just fine. Touch and hold works just fine. And it really is completely plug and play. I didn't have to do any setup on this other than installing a Raspberry Pi and plugging in some cables. So here's what I'm thinking of using the Elecro screen and my Raspberry Pi for. This is another of my RV satellite dishes that I keep finding used on Craigslist and Facebook and whatnot. This one is a WineGuard carryout. And I like this one in particular because it has this sort of equipment platform on the back that rotates with the dish. This is a nice big platform here. I haven't been able to directly interface with the brain itself, but I think if I remove all this stuff, there's plenty of room for that tablet back here. Something sort of like this, although I'm gonna have to clean up the wiring. I'm gonna have to mess around with this a little bit more. And what this should give me is a nice touchscreen interface for this dish, this receiver assembly. I can put an RTL SDR in here, I can put a little battery pack underneath, and then I can control the dish right from the touchscreen here. I can have it do scans like I've done in some previous videos of microwave emissions in the sky, of other RF signals, and then display the heat map of what it's seeing right on the screen. So it'd be kind of an all-in-one portable antenna system. And if I'm generating a microwave image, I want to be able to see that image in high quality right away. So again, a big screen like this will be ideal for that project. And yes, I am going to take the screen protector off of here. I just want to get it kind of situated in the antenna dome before I go removing that protection in case I drop some screws on it or scratch it along the way. One other thing I have noticed with Raspberry Pi is that it has an intermittent low voltage warning. I've seen that warning on every single Raspberry Pi I've ever used, so I just ignore it and I wouldn't count it as a negative against this screen. So again, this is just a mock-up of what I want to do with this eventually. We don't have the stepper motors hooked up yet, we don't have all the software figured out, so this is just a kind of concept setup of um, using the dish to scan in the microwave KU band and generate a heat map. For comparison, here's the little tiny screen I've been using on my Raspberry Pi quarter. The Pi quarter is a little more portable, but that Elecro screen is much easier to use, looks a lot nicer, and is going to show me a lot more detail for any high-res scans. So all the satellite dish stuff is going to be another video in the future because I'm still in the middle of all that. But for now, I'd like to wrap this up by saying the Elecro Crowvision touchscreen is pretty great. I'm definitely going to be using this in a future project, and you'll be seeing it in future videos. I really like the image quality and the touchscreen quality. Everything seems to work perfectly on this. Uh, I haven't really had any issues with the Elecro screen. Again, the only complaint I possibly had about the entire package was that little ribbon cable. It just didn't seat very well on the connectors. I'd like to thank Elecro again for sending me this package to test out. I'm very happy with it. I would recommend this to any DIY people. I would recommend it to makers. Anybody who wants a very nice, decently sized screen for their Raspberry Pi, this one is perfect for mounting into an electronics enclosure or another project, making a cyber deck, popping it into a Pelican case, making some kind of all-in-one portable system. All kinds of options for something like this. If you want to buy one of these for yourself, I will throw all the links down in the description and you can go check out Elecro's website. Usually on this channel, I'm repurposing some other consumer product that's not designed to be very user friendly or taken apart. So when I come across a product like this that's made for DIYers, that's made for makers, I'm always really impressed by it. And I've been really impressed with Elecro's product so far. 
I hope this has been a good review for everyone and a fun preview of a future satellite dish imaging project. Again, it'll be a little while before that comes out, probably later in 2023. We've got a lot of other things to work on, but we're definitely going to be including that Elecro screen into our project, so stay tuned to see more of that, and stay tuned for more shenanigans with that RV satellite dish. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.